The following video should only be taken for entertainment purposes only, and I and anybody associated with me will not be held liable for any death, dismemberment, injury, damage to property, life, limb, whatever. Just don't do this at home. It's not smart. I am gonna do it, but that's that's what I'm here for. Uh, uh, welcome back to the channel, my friends. This is Road Reality, and I'm gonna do more stupid stuff. And the guys in the car over there trying to figure out where they're hearing voices from. Dude, I've been trying to figure that out for years. <laughs> uh, I hope you are having a great day out there in YouTube land. And I've decided to start this video at a stoplight so that I can describe this. Hero 9, on top of the Insta360 bullet time selfie stick. It's a different one than the regular one. And then it's their motorcycle kit that attaches to uh, my handlebars. I hope you could see that in frame. It's always difficult because the camera's over here and pointing, I don't know. But over the last six months or so, seven months, I've done a number of videos where I have a handheld camera point of view. You know, it's different, it's free form, it's all fun, right? And that's all due to the Hero 9 falling off the fairing mount that was over here. Now it's over here. And I realized I could unscrew this thing and wave it around handheld. The first couple of times, I actually caught myself out. I was on a little two-lane road one time. I was like, uh, I didn't think this through. How am I supposed to collapse this down and put it back on the thing? And it, I found a fix, okay? And we're gonna show it in about a mile. So, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and so are most of these people too. Yeah, the drivers today have been absolutely ridiculous. It's about 80 degrees towards the end of May. It is a beautiful time to be alive. The hills are alive with the sound of motorcycles. So look out, save a life. But I want to talk about this camera mount and we're going to use it after this next light. That is the first caveat. Don't do this where there's lots of lights and turns and cars and stuff. It's just asking for trouble. And I want to start out by reminding you that should something go awry, throw the camera away. It's not worth damage to you or your bike. But here we are, I'm gonna set the cruise. And now I have a handheld view of me. I'm still watching the road, don't worry. And I've set my cruise, I think the speed limit's 40, I don't know. But I've set my cruise on 40. The guy behind me is kind of mad, but watch this. I'm also quite adept at handling my motorcycle. I know exactly how it's going to behave in any real given situation, I think. Let's get a shot of that front wheel. Cool, huh? All right, so now I'm coming up there. I know there's a light over the hill. We're gonna do something different. And now the Hero 9 is safely ensconced in my jacket. You do not have a view of me, but you do have a view out of the jacket because it's mesh. You can see through it. How cool is that, huh? Ah, I love stuff like this. Why did I pick this route to do this? Because, oh, it's a red light. Hey, it's a green light, look at that, we win. This route, I wanna show this commuting route in a new light. Hey, what's up, buddy? Now that we're on a straight road, hey, look, we're back. You can see me again. And I can keep my bike going upright and screw it back into place. That is pretty cool. Except I'm still accelerating. Stop accelerating, John. Just make sure you get it on there good and tight. There we go. Ta-da, now you're back. But well, we're gonna do it on Beaver Dam because I wanna show that road slightly differently. I show that road a lot in my commuting vlogs, but it's time for a copy break. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny, I'm always, I'm always about, not always, sometimes about showing how the sausage is made, as it were. Yeah, I like to come through and make videos on how I make videos, because I think it's fun and it might inspire somebody else to do something similar or even the same thing. And if they can, then I'm all the better for it, because, hey, 
I got to help somebody. That's like my goal. Can we go? Yeah, we can go. Now, you may be wondering how I got the footage so stable earlier. And the answer is Max Lens Mod. It's right there. I think you can see that. Max Lens Mod, baby. All right, let's go handheld again. This is a road I'm very familiar with. That's another trick. None of these are numbered. None of them are in order, except the first one. The first one was very important. I had to show that I care about you. <laughs> I do care about you, but I wanted to say that first because I don't want anybody getting hurt because of my stupidity. That's just not good form. <laughs> Funny part is I won't even know if all this video stuff works until I get home. And another tip, do not uh, try to do this on roads where you have to shift because one hand is busy doing something other than shifting and holding the handlebars. And I can't do the concert hall today. Dag nabbit. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> All right, let's extend this out just a little bit. There you go. Now we get the good view again. And I'm just doing this in third gear. Oh yeah, let's go through these corners real good. Yeah, I'm leaned over, the footage is not, oh, my bike, it's leaned over. That's where we're headed. Slow down, John, slow down. Gotta be extra careful. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing the thing. This is awesome. <laughs> I tell you guys, time and time again, I'm gonna keep doing this as long as it's fun and this makes it fun. All right, you gotta go in here. This is a dangerous situation coming up. You gotta go back in the pocket. It's not necessarily a dangerous situation, but look, I made the right call. There's cars coming and they're not gonna, oh, the one is gonna slow down for me, awesome. Thank you, you will get a two-fingered wave. Thank you, awesome, big thumbs up. Big, see, big thumb up, big two thing, whatever, two fingers. So now, not only am I thinking and speaking and riding, I'm doing a lot, all right? I do not recommend this. <laughs> Let's put you back up here for a minute. Yep, quite by accident, I discovered this. I guess it's not gonna work in the winter months when the jacket has to stay closed for the obvious temperature related reasons. Hey, look, the wheat's growing. That's excellent to see. We came out of the wooded section. Again, do not try this at home. And if I repeat myself, it's because I wanted to. <laughs> no, it's not. If I repeat myself, it's because I'm having too much fun and I, I just can't remember everything I do all the time. But really, it all stems from wanting to have more engaging videos. And how else do you engage people by having, but by having different camera angles? I mean, that just goes without saying, except I said it and said it twice. So moving on, one of the other things that I showed this in the tailgate, uh, tailgater deterrent video, you can raise the camera angle up, which is pretty cool, but you can actually, unscrew it just a little bit and get the forward view be careful though you only have so many threads holding that selfie stick onto the clamp mount thing neat camera angle huh hey wait <laughs> i will not be doing that one-handed i don't have the balance for that Oh, this is too much fun. One more time. One more time. One more time. Do, 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 do. And I guess if I had a quick release, it'd be even better, wouldn't it? But I don't have a quick release. I just have this. But with this, it is very flexible. You can do all sorts of things. Let's make it even longer. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Now, you don't want to ride too fast because look at the bend in the selfie stick. There's a little bit of a bend there. You don't want to do too much. Yeah, see? Oh yeah, what a nice camera angle, huh? And then we get over here, we get the double yellow line. Whoa, that was close to the ground. All right, now I have to not fall off the bike while 
maintaining speed and everything else. This is a workout. This, my friends, is a workout. And before the end of the road, I wanna make sure I'm not futzing around with the camera when I get on a busier road. Because let me tell you, the drivers, like I said earlier, they are all nuts today. They're all doing a lot of stupid things. So you gotta kind of plan out your shots for this one. Whew, coffee, 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 let's go. Yeah, I saw tractor trailers being dumb, trucks being dumb, a lot of cars being dumb. And the inanimate object that is a vehicle was not being dumb. It was the driver of said vehicle. But it certainly makes it a lot more interesting to ride a motorcycle. Ooh, doggo, running the stop sign, sure. I will not be running the stop sign. Not the least of which is because I'm recording camera. You know what, you're slow. <laughs> not the least of which is I'm recording myself. Oh, but now is a great time to end the video before I go get stuck in more traffic. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I don't know if it was quick or not. Usually I say, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Well, it ain't a quick one today, but hopefully it was informative. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully you got a laugh out of your old buddy John being stupid. And hey, wait, I'm not your old buddy John. You haven't subscribed yet? Fix that. There's a linky link down in the bottom of the page thing. It's over there, I think. You can go click that and subscribe now. I don't know if that asks for subscribers, but hell's bells, after doing something like that, maybe I've earned it. I don't think I deserve it, but maybe I have earned it. And with that, I will leave you with the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe it's going out and buying this stuff in the video description below. I'll have a look. I'll have a list of all the links to all the things you need to buy to make this happen. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!